okay, what do I say to the idea that Bitcoin is essentially a, a trade-off between either cheap transactions or secure transactions, because eventually the reward runs out, and you start only getting reward from miners based on transaction fees? First of all, that doesn't happen for 132 years. Um, and as far as I know, in 132 years, we'll be looking at a Bitcoin interplanetary network, and I'm less worried about how we optimize the blockchain today to achieve that. A lot of this is a matter of optimization, and quite honestly, I don't start getting worried about a problem until we start seeing signs of a problem, or even you know, tiny, tiny. Um, examples of that problem. Part of my experience comes from reading this kind of uh, concern journalism, I'll call it, uh, to avoid calling it concern trolling. But the idea here is that when I was working on the internet, for example, every year, without fail, there was an article that came out that said, Ethernet has hit the limits of physical science and physics, and here is proof of why Ethernet cannot exceed one megabit. And then next year it was, and here is proof of why Ethernet cannot exceed ten megabits. And a year later it was a gigabit, and a year after that it was ten gigabits. And every single time there was a Ethernet's about to die. We've seen that with IP that won't can't possibly scale, we're going to run out of IP addresses, and the whole thing will collapse. Search that won't, can't possibly scale, we're going to run out of uh, ability to do things, and it will collapse. Storage, you know, all of these doom scenarios, they assume the technology is static. They also assume that when you have something of value, there won't be someone to innovate and solve the problem. So to all of these problems, what I see is opportunity. In 1995, every article about the internet said that it would fail because you could never find anything. And some people saw that as a problem, and they did a lot of rending and pulling their hair out and crying that the internet would die. And a couple of guys formed Google and decided to solve that problem. Now they've got a 400 billion industry. So you can either look at it as a problem, or you can say, if I solve this, what kind of value can I generate? in this industry. And so far, I have not seen any problems in Bitcoin that are unsolvable. These problems are technical, but they are solvable. The concerns are mostly academic, and the network is incredibly dynamic and resilient. So, in summary, I'm not worried about optimization. I'm not worried about scaling. For every one of these problems, I've seen 10 proposed solutions long before these problems are actually real. And uh, I think we're going to see uh, Bitcoin continue to scale, continue to grow, and to adapt to these challenges uh, without any difficulty.